So this morning we had a special breakfast and I think Amy would prefer I don't say this, but it was for her birthday. And uh, sometimes when we think about birthdays in, uh, that we, we celebrate, um, at least from our approach in, in the U.S., it's like today's the day that people remember me and I get gifts and I better get calls from every one of my family members or one of them's going to be on my not so happy list. Um, but cards are nice if I, you know, maybe they'll up the ante, give some cards, that would be really nice. And, and so it's, it's about really what can I get, what am I getting, who's going to remember me. Um, then we think about a party, throwing myself a party or someone else is throwing a party for me. Or we feel disappointed because we're, we're getting older and we don't want to be reminded of another year having passed. But the, the tendency um, in the Buddhist culture is to emphasize giving. And so it really spins out that whole idea of this day is like celebrating me and my birth and uh, what's funny and often with birthdays is people forget their own moms and how, <laughs> how much they had to do with it. Um, and so we have um, this opportunity always to, to kind of flip things around and the Buddha's really encouraging us rather than just this focus on me, <clears throat> it's, on, it's on others and how can I give, how can I help, how can I be of service. And uh, so in, in Thailand, that's a, a tendency that I understand, like, culturally in Thailand on a birthday, uh, when one has a birthday, will especially go out to a monastery and um, offer food to the, the monks and nuns. And there's, you know, there's just such an emphasis on giving that the day is completely flipped around. And so one is remembering to be kind to others, to help others out. And it's not just about this day that represents only what I can get or what's important about me. And of course, as we know, it's, uh, it's sort of a random day. I mean, if, if we had a different number of um, ways of measuring a year, you know, whether it's 482 days or whatever it might be, just a convention, but it's it's a convention that that most of the world is at least attuned to the day of our our birth. And so, in terms of, of that kind of convention, we, we just have an opportunity, and we and we have an opportunity each day to just kind of turn things around for ourselves and to try to remember how can I help, how can I look out for someone else rather than look out for me. And I think about the, the effort it took for Amy and also possibly Joaquin um, to prepare breakfast, to get it ready, to um, make that contribution. It's, it's a very kind thing to think of so many people and make that offering. And it takes, you know, it takes a lot of thought and effort. And it just, it just puts, when we, when we do that and we're, we're, we're consistently thinking about how can I, I help, it just changes the whole mindset. We're not we're not kind of um, pulled into ourselves and and just focused on um, whatever it is that that I need in the moment. And so these work periods are are also a time where we have an opportunity to focus on that giving. And sometimes it can feel like it's just compulsive, like, okay, this is the work period, it's three hours. If I want to stay in the monastery, I've got to do this work period. Just got to deal with these other people and just get the job done. And then I'm going to eat and I can get out of here, back to my kuti. And unfortunately, with that, that kind of mindset, it's, it's we're robbing ourselves of our own merit. We're, um, 
we're creating uh, a much worse situation for ourselves than if we actually really focused on what we're doing as a gift. Because none of us are, are paid for this. And so when we, when we do that with others and we keep bringing that up, it's like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm drilling these holes, this is a gift. I'm taking this brush out. I'm, I'm helping keep others, keeping others from getting Lyme disease because there's ticks on the ends of these other grass or the branches or whatever it might be. And we can, it, there's, there's nothing that the Buddha said around, we shouldn't really be reminding ourselves of that or, um, it's really something that's quite a gain for us, quite helpful for us to, to bring to our own minds about our own goodness and what it is that we're, we're doing that's a, a contribution for others, a contribution for this world. And so that's, that's the other aspect of um, doing acts of generosity is reminding ourselves that we're doing them because we can, we can tend to lose a little bit of it because even though when we do generous acts it can be more out of that sense of compulsion. So just uh, trying to keep that, that energy up, that generous energy, that sense of also chaga, which is not just giving, but giving up, letting go of our attachments, letting go of what, what we want for ourselves, and reminding ourselves of all of the goodness that we're doing. Yeah.